at this point heading into the open our short-term bias will be neutral while the intermediate continues to be neutral bearish and off the open how es behaves at the 38 35 75 to 42 quarter pre-market resistance zone will be quite telling if sellers can manage to hold es below pre-market resistance then there would still be potential for downside movement but if off the open we get a successful breakout above pre-market resistance on broad market strength and sustained upside momentum then that would signal intraday strength and could lead to a move up into 38.50 to 55 and even a retest of the 38.64 to 70 half larger time frame resistance which is a significant inflection point on multiple time frames and we would need to see continued broad market strength and sustained upside momentum in order to take that area out now keep in mind that the market has already responded to that area of resistance in the overnight session so if es starts testing it yet again during the regular trading hour session and if it's doing so on some big and sustained upside momentum then we have to be open to the possibility of the 64 to 70 half area being taken out and a successful breakout above that zone would serve as a bullish confirmation which could then result in range expansion into the resistance areas above so right now heading into the open that short-term bias being neutral is pretty significant and we have to be quite flexible and nimble with our intraday bias on first test the expectation was for a response at this larger time frame resistance at 3864 to 70 half we saw that in the overnight session and now the market is right back up towards the previous VPOC and previous close so clearly buyers are still quite interested in this market and off the open how the market behaves at this pre-market resistance zone will be very telling and we have to be open to the upside possibility as well if in real time we get a successful breakout above the pre-market resistance zone 